The Cornell Big Red have had a men's soccer program since 1908. In all those years, Cornell has never started a season 8-0, but as the old saying goes, there's a first time for everything. 22nd ranked Cornell hosting D3 Hartwick tonight. First half, 1-1 the score. Loose ball outside the box for Cornell. Nico Nissel, his missile, is stopped by Tom Buckner. We're still tied. Midway through the first half, Cornell would break through. Tyler Reagan knocks in this shot from in tight, and the Big Red go on top 2-1 to one at that point later. The top scorer in the nation is Cornell's Daniel Haber. That's that guy. He had two goals tonight, but this one was not finding the twine. Doesn't matter. Cornell wins it 4-1 to one and is off to their best start in program history. More men's college soccer scores. These are from the Division Three circuit. Ithaca and Scranton play to a scoreless draw. While Elmira College just runs over Wilkes, 5-zip is the final there. One girls high school score from tonight, Corning gets the best of horse heads 4-3 at Memorial Stadium. While staying with the college athletics scene, cool news for Corning Community College sports fans. The Red Barons have a brand spanking new website. Check out redbaronsathletics.com to access the site and see anything from game results to each schedules and even recruiting and intramurals information, all a part of that brand new page. Well, it seems like NASCAR weekend at Watkins Glen just happened, but believe it or not, it's been well over a month since Marcos Ambrose took home the checkered flag. And here's the good news, it's all coming back again. WGI announced today that the legendary road course will serve host to yet another NASCAR weekend next summer. With all your favorite drivers coming back to the Glen August 8th to the 11th, General ticket sales for the event begins on December 3rd. We'll have to see, guys, if Marcus Ambrose can win his third Sprint Cup race in a row at the Glen.